Hey guys, uh, we're back again. Uh, and if you're watching these live um, or thereabouts, <laughs> then you're gonna get three of these in one day because I'm running behind, I'm catching up. If, however, you're you know, getting these via email, you might be getting them spread out, which would be kind of cool. <laughs> uh, anyway, so today's has today. This one has to do with uh, again, sort of the nature reality. We, we were thinking about things and thinks a minute ago or last week, and now we're going to look at history, right? Historical fact. Uh, I'm a historian by training, uh, and I used to think, you know, history is this real thing. I mean, and it kind of is, right? But what we know about history, we know right now, okay? Hit the past, in a sense, doesn't exist, or at least it doesn't exist anymore, except for in the present, right now. So if you're reading about history, watching something on the History Channel, if they ever do anything actually about history, which they hardly ever do, uh, or you know, you're reading one of my my Viking book or something, that you're doing it now. So everything you know about the past is you know it now in the present. It's not actually in the past. The past is gone if it in fact kind of ever existed. Now, obviously things happened before today, but that's a measurement. We're gonna talk about that in the next video. All right, so uh, in a sense, what we know about history is a kind of fiction. Now, that doesn't mean that there weren't actual events like the American Revolution didn't happen or, uh, you know, like the Holocaust didn't happen. Of course it happened. And if you're a denier, fuck you. Don't watch my videos. Uh, cause you're a Nazi and an asshole. And I don't really care about Nazis and assholes. So, uh, this is my little jab at Nazis. Sorry. Uh, for those of you who are not, uh, hopefully everyone watching, uh, obviously that shit happened. Those are, we know Holocaust happened, the American Revolution happened, there were certain events that happened, right? And we know there are certain factual things that happened. But what we don't know is infinite about the past. I mean, every historian will tell you this. Mostly, we don't know. <laughs> what we do know is very limited, even for the, even for the recent past. The problem with the recent, like if you're talking about like last week or a year ago, is that there's so much information, no one would ever be able to put a full picture together because it's too much. If you go back to the Viking period, which I study, there's very little to look at or read about. Now, we, there's archaeological information, all this stuff are facts, but then we have to interpret those facts, and this is where it becomes fiction, okay? A, a kind of fiction. Now, there's a you know, I will distinguish, you know, what a historian like myself does or other professional historians or even amateur historians that are really good at the craft. What they do with the facts and, and trying to interpret them is at usually a higher level than, than a historical fiction author. Not always. Sometimes historical fiction authors are actually better than the historians um, at interpreting and I mean, I'm, and I now I'm straddling both of those. I'm getting I'm getting ready to publish a historical fiction novel. But even when you're right, if I'm writing a book about the Vikings and it's a history book, it's still a lot of fiction in there because I have to take limited facts and I have to interpret them and try to make meaning out of them. Now the story I come up with is largely fiction. I mean, I, it's my interpretation of what happened. Now, we know certain things happened, and some of them we know when they happened and where, and it's most of the time you know, who the main players were or whatever, but the rest of it, we don't really know because it's the, the, the sources just don't give us that. So it's all fiction. Now, in our personal lives, we do the same thing every single day and all day long. We know a few facts about what, you know, our wife or husband or girlfriend or family member or friends did 
in the last day when we saw them or talked to them or whatever, what they told us they did. But mostly we don't know what they were doing, right? Because we weren't there. And so, but we create a story based on the limited amount of information we have from them around that to make sense of it in our own head because we like we don't like to not know all the details so we'll make them up it's complete fiction though right it might be a, a good educated guess but it's only that and it makes it fictional and it's in a very similar way to what i do as a historian or a historical fiction writer or filling in blanks and we all do this every day with everything <laughs> we didn't even do it with things where we were there because we our memories don't we don't remember everything that happened a week ago a year ago forget about 20 years ago right we have this vague memory of certain things that happened or were said and then we put it all together in a kind of a coherent story in the head but it's really mostly fiction so think about that Next time you think you know what some what someone did or you know what actually happened yesterday or a week ago or ten years ago, you don't. <laughs> You're making most of it up. Your brain fills in the gaps and makes historical fiction. All right, guys, it was kind of a long one. We'll see you on the next one.